Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is the true essence of prayer. Well, we all pray, don't we? From childhood we are taught that we should pray every day. It is in our tradition that prayer is an important part of our life. But why there is a necessity to pray? Or why do we need to pray? Or what do we learn from our prayers? You will understand all these questions with the help of a short story. In a village, there was a beautiful couple. They were happily married. The husband was a daily wage earner and every day he would go out in the morning and come back at night. They were happily with the little money they got. But somehow suddenly what happened is that the husband he could not find any job. Day after day he came home empty handed. The wife started feeling frustrated. She started comparing her life with the others in the village. Quarrel started, fight started, there were exchange of words. The husband also kept quiet because somehow he also felt that he was unable to give all the happiness to his wife. The wife started ridiculing the husband. She started condemning him in front of others. And days passed. And one fine day when she thought it was over, she left him and went to his parents, went to her parents. But there was one positive thing in that woman. She was a true devotee of Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati. Now we all know Goddess Parvati married Lord Shiva irrespective of his way of living. Goddess Parvati was a princess but yet she chose Lord Shiva who was not like any other king or prince. Her family was against their marriage but she stood by him through thick and thin. But here this woman, she used to pray every day to Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati. Every day, whether there was no grain in her stomach, but she would pray. But she did not learn from her God. She did not learn from her tradition what the God, what the Lord Shiva and Parvati wanted to teach the mankind. She did not learn how to stand by her husband when he needed her the most. So this kind of prayer, is it useful? You think. Now, if you are not a good friend, if you cannot be a good friend and you are a devotee of Lord Krishna, it is useless. If you are not a good son or not a good daughter and you are not able to maintain a healthy family life and you are a devotee of Lord Rama, it is useless, isn't it? We should learn from our ancestors, we should learn from our God. We should learn from our tradition, isn't it? So my dear friends, from the next time you pray, keep in mind to imbibe some of the qualities of the good God. Prayer is not only asking for materialistic thing, not only asking for happiness, money, health. It is also thinking beyond. 
learning from our Lord, learning from what the God has to teach us. Thank you so much for listening. And lastly, I wanted to tell you something that I have started this motivational or this channel and here I am giving all the views according to me. These views are my perception, my views. I do not intend to change your perception and your views. These videos are open for discussion but not for condemn. Thank you so much. Have a great day ahead.